Hello. October 13th, 1775 marks the establishment of our U.S. Navy. Over 250 years ago, our Continental Congress hotly debated for 11 days over its establishment. And when the dust settled, they voted to fit out two sailing vessels. Our founding leaders directed us well, but it has really been our sailors on whom the foundation of the world's greatest Navy was built, who have been the ones that stood the watch and who have been the shield for our Republic. And it has been their presence forward deployed 24 seven, 365 days a year that has safeguarded our maritime approaches and ensured our economic prosperity. This year, we celebrate Victory at Sea. Victory at Sea was seen 20 years ago when the USS Cole was attacked. We remember those 17 sailors lost and honor their shipmates who heroically saved lives and saved their ship. Those sailors left us a legacy of what warfighters must do in the face of adversity. Persevere, fight, and win. In addition to those who made the ultimate sacrifice and those who heroically fought for their shipmates and ship, many more sailors have set an example of what unwavering commitment to excellence looks like. Diverse views and perspectives are an enabler for our sailors to achieve victory at sea. Sailors who can do the right thing, carry out the right actions, and be able to inspire their shipmates to do the same. Sailors who strengthen our trust and improve our performance throughout all we do. Collectively, we must continuously work to ensure that all members of our joint community can count on the respect and support of coworkers and supervisors and have an equal chance to be recognized and succeed in our workplace. I'd like to give a very special thank you to our personnel who coordinated a series of events to include bell ringing, cake cutting, historical presentations, videos, and PT events. Thank you for keeping this tradition alive, fun, and for finding so many ways to remind us of our Navy heritage. Happy birthday, United States Navy. And now another of our great traditions, the bell ringing ceremony. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the U.S. Naval War College's celebration of the 245th birthday of the United States Navy. Our national anthem will now be performed by Navy Band Northeast. Today, the Navy's birthday celebration encompasses the traditions of honor, courage, and commitment, the value of being second to none, and the sailors who are the very foundation upon which we have built the world's greatest Navy. As directed for the bell ringing ceremony, the bell will strike nine times at 0900 local to commemorate the 245th birthday of the United States Navy. Eight bells used to signal the end of the watch 
represents the end of the current birthday year. As we celebrate our Navy's 245th birthday, our history and heritage forms our identity, telling us who we are and what we stand for. Our core values of honor, courage, and commitment have been passed down from our founders, who charged the Navy with the solemn duty to serve as the shield of our Republic. The first real test our Navy faced was during the War of 1812. This war began at sea when United States ships were ordered to heave to upon the high seas, and U.S. citizens were forcefully taken or impressed into the crews of another nation's ships. The great battles that followed proved the fighting metal of our sailors and the cutting edge of our ship designs. These battles established both free trade and free navigation as critical national interests of our country, interests that endure to this day. The warrior characteristics of cunning and boldness exhibited in 1812 inspire our sailors of today's Navy as they continue to serve around the world. The War of 1812 served as a critical turning point for our Navy. On this 245th birthday of our Navy, we have the honor to serve in the greatest maritime fighting force the world has ever seen, but we do so with humility, continuing to build upon the framework those fighting sailors forged before us. History teaches us that with great power comes great responsibility. From the great captains and crews who fought single ship actions in 1812, to the commerce raiders of the Civil War, from the convoys of World War I, to the major fleet actions at Coral Sea and Midway. From the blockade of Cuba in October of 1962 to the riverine operations on the Tigris and the Euphrates, our Navy has boldly and proudly put our shoulder to the wheel. We have championed peace and we continue to shield the Republic. Here is to 245 years of proud naval heritage and many more. The single bell, traditionally used to signal the start of a new watch, represents the start of a new year, our 246th. We will now turn it back over to the President of the U.S. Naval War College, Rear Admiral Shoshana Chatfield, for our cake cutting ceremony. Cake cutting ceremonies have become an important part, and one of my favorite parts, of our Navy culture. By tradition, the first piece of cake is presented to the oldest sailor present, signifying the honor and respect accorded to experience and seniority. Our oldest sailor present is Captain John Jackson, United States Navy retired, who first joined the Navy in 1969. He was commissioned in June of 1971 and continued on active duty until 1998. He has served at the Naval War College since 1996. He was born in February of 1949. Symbolically, the eldest sailor present passes a piece of cake to the youngest sailor present, just as for years our experienced sailors have nurtured and led young sailors who will fill our ranks and renew our Navy. The youngest sailor present this afternoon is BM2, Alan Clemson. He was born November 1995 and enlisted in the Navy on 10 March, 2015. It is customary at Navy birthday celebrations worldwide to cut a traditional cake in celebration of the birth of our Navy. The birthday cake is traditionally cut with a sword as a reminder that we are a band of warriors committed to carrying arms so that our nation may live in peace. That cake looks delicious and I wish you were all here to enjoy it and celebrate with me 245 years of U.S. Naval power. Now please direct your attention to our U.S. Navy leaders for a few reflective thoughts. To our sailors, civilians, and proud Navy families, happy 245th birthday. Through your service and excellence, each of you forges the next link in our chain, extending from the days of our Navy's birth during the American Revolution the many challenges we face around the world today. 75 years ago, our Navy achieved a great and unprecedented victory at sea in the Pacific. The conflict that began right here at Pearl Harbor was secured in victory through the determination and skill of every sailor who stepped forward to defend our nation in its hour of need. It took all hands to achieve such a hard-fought victory that was never fully assured. 
those who went before us took to the sea, the skies and the depths of the oceans in order to preserve our nation for us and succeeding generations. They served through adversity, far from home, with some never returning. Their lasting memorial is the world they created, the world that you now stand to protect in your service to our nation. I am honored to stand with you in that mission. Thank you for all that you and your families do for our Navy and our country. And on behalf of the American people, bravo Zulu to each of you. Happy birthday, Navy. Shipmates, CNO Gill Day here with my wife, Linda. This year, we're celebrating the Navy's 245th birthday virtually around the world together. Although this year's birthday celebration may be a bit different than in years past, we can all be so proud of two and a half centuries of tradition and the men and women who continue to build our Navy's legacy, along with honoring those family members and loved ones who stand beside them each and every day. Today, sailors stand the watch from the Western Atlantic to the South China Sea and from the high North to the South Pacific. Your Navy enables prosperity 24-7, 365 at home and abroad by helping keep the maritime commons open and free. And I promise you that our allies and our partners, as well as our fellow Americans, all sleep better because you are out there. Our birthday is an important occasion because we celebrate our rich past, toast our shipmates' accomplishments today, and also look forward to our Navy's very bright future ahead. The Navy needs you to be the best that you can be, to serve others, to be courageous, and to never forget that America has a great Navy. Happy 245th birthday, Navy family. See you in the fleet, shipmates.